we have uh, started our discussion about uh, what uh, writing uh, invitations yes and as i told you what are we going to do about invitations so we will formal invitations as well as informal invitations how to write the invitation how to make a formal invitation and how to do it reply okay all of you Right. Now, formal invitations, as I have told you, we have done the card format, we have done the letter format also. Right? So, when are we going to make a card in a formal invitation? When it is for a large gathering, right? The number of people are attending. When are we going to make a write a letter for a formal invitation? Yes, it is when we want to invite someone as the chief guest, as the guest of honor to participate in the function in the celebration. Right? So we had drafted, as I told you here, what we you know what the format of the card is. Yes. So you will write the name of the host, the guest. Occasion, date, time, menu, and you have your R S E P. Okay, right? You can also mention the name of the chief guest here. This is your formal invitation as a card. We have a formal invitation as a letter also. Right? So, when we write a formal invitation as a letter, the format is that of a formal letter. What are the contents going to be? The contents are going to be like the invitation only. And but you will be writing it in the form of a paragraph. You will be writing them as sentences here. Right? That uh, uh, we would like to invite you as uh, the chief guest of our annual price distribution function on such and such date at such place in the school premises, right? So looking forward to a positive response, right? So your formal letter or the formal invitation if you write it as a letter invited to one person. So it is this way, right? Now let's come to the next part. We are going to reply. What is a draft invitation? Making the invitation, right now. So when we have invitations here, we will also be giving replies also. Now please note down here for formal invitations, we have replies. What are we to remember when I write a formal or it will be a formal letter? The format would be the tone would be formal, right? Yes, not casual, yes, uh, thank you so much. And uh, how are you? How is the weather? How is your family? No, not that way. So it would be to the point. The tone would be formal, okay? Yes. Then we have, we're going to write it in the third person. You have to be Brief, you know the word limit. Right? One very, very important is the first you will thank for the invitation. Then you will accept it. And when you decline the invitation, you will give the reason. Okay? Can you see the blackboard? Is it visible? Right? Now here, when I write a reply, a formal invitation, I have got, I have to reply to it. This is common courtesy. This is a part of our social etiquette. It's a part of our social interaction. We need to respond to invitations that we have got. Okay, right? Now here, 
in once again look at it formal reply how are we going to write it we will be writing it as a formal letter yes some places you see that it is written as a paragraph only okay that it is just a simple thing but if you write because it has to be someone whom you are writing it to whom are you sending the reply to there is a proper way of correspondence of communication so when you write a reply the formal letter the tone has to be formal and polite you will be writing it in the third person you have to write in 50 words and you will have got a lot of short writing skills invitation is a short writing skill now when you write invitation you will the first thank the person the host for the invitation then you will accept it and if you are declining it give the reason okay right now please let us write say you got an invitation to participate you got an invitation to participate or you know the sign over what the under function and uh, you have to write a reply accepting this accepting is easy i am not by the decline so you have to write a reply declining the invitation that you have prior uh, commitments you have a prior uh, you know like you have to go somewhere else so you already need uh, invited as a guest somewhere so you cannot attend it okay right so what is it if you remember yes uh, just write down one question please write down a question draft a formal reply draft a formal reply accept or write it say decline it is decline isn't it decline kya hota hai to say no to refuse so declining an invitation to be present on the occasion of and writes a description function okay at at say divine public school vidhana you are they is the any institute made in science and technology department Amazing. Okay, right now here, what are we going to write? We will write the format first. Who is the sender? The sender. Okay, so you can write down now. Write down please. I am giving you one example so that you have a sample with you. when you are doing your revision so you can just go through it okay then we write the date what's the date date who are we writing it to so we writing it to the principal Okay. Then yes, here we can write the subject. And yes, uh, responding to or declining invitation. This is also a perfect way of responding to the invitation. I tell you the other way also. Write a simpler version, and you can do. both of them whatever you are able to remember now yes here we need to say about so madam or sir 
ये नोट कर लिया so we had so what is the name mr amit verma give the proper director what is that hack we can write the uh, principal's name mrs any principal right to the site for the invitation to be the guest right okay fine pehle humne kya kiya Will not be able to participate, right? Yes. So you can write down. Uh, thank you for the invitation. Or uh, yes, looking forward to meet you in the future. Sorry for the inconvenience. Anything that you want to say, right? You just write now, and then of course, yeah. Yes. Uh, yours. Okay. Once again, here, here, here. This is one way, right, of writing it as a formal letter. The second way is that we are just going to write. That's it. A reply. Right. So both ways here for a formal reply, they are acceptable. Okay. ये बहुत confusing है invitations. First you have a formal invitation, right? God, then you realize that no, for one person or for us, it is a different message. Then how are you going to reply to it? You have to accept the invitation or you have to decline the invitation. Remember one thing here: it is there. The tone has to be formal. The letter is very brief. Declining way. पहले हमने thank you करना है, then give the reason for the plan. Accepting also when you are doing. Accept, thank you, and then yes, it would be a pleasure for me to be a part of such a prestigious event, right? Fine, that's it. Clear, and then you just wind up the letter. Is this clear? Is this clear to you all? Give me a yes or no. Yes. Have you got it? No, ma'am. We not reply. We would like to, to participate in the classroom discussion, right? We are happy here in the comfort of our room only, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mandi. Thank you. So I can just rely upon a couple of students for giving a reply. So what are the things you have to remember? Formal invitation. What are the two ways in which we draft the invitation? One is as a card. Second is as a letter. Who do we make the card for when we are inviting a large gathering? It could be yes, of course, for any social gathering, for any 
social function and for any function of an organization institution in that kind of an invitation right so when you want to invite one person in particular i have shown you how to make a card or a chief guest we can also write a formal letter okay then comes the next part that is replies how am i going to reply to the invitation this is your reply to a formal invitation right you can do it as a formal letter fine you can write it as one simple paragraph that's it that is also acceptable okay right so when we reply we either accept the invitation or we decline the invitation third person may okay we're going to write it and first of all mention what occasion you have been invited for thanking them then you accept the invitation yes it would be a pleasure to participate to be a part of such a proud moment to be a part of such a great uh, occasion right yes and or you will decline so thank you for the invitation but i will not be able to attend because of prior commitments so this is a tricky part about formal invitation okay right now we are coming to informal invitations can we continue with informal invitations is it clear to you all can i do with informal invitations Not it now? Yes, I will send you sending you uh, you know like what uh, PDF also for invitations. I'll give you a sample each so for you can for your reference, right? Please be sure that you if you are there, you know on the internet there are so many things here, but we have to follow the format which is going to get you marks. So don't go around following the wrong format. Don't go around with the the wrong things. Okay, so please just be careful about what is done in the classroom. Now next year, next we are doing we are doing informal invitations. Now informal invitations are in the form of an in Yes. So, how what, do we write the informal invitations? They are going to be in the form of an informal letter, right? Now, supposing you want to invite your friend for uh, your birthday, okay, or you want to give a housewarming party, right, uh, or any occasion that you want to celebrate. Yes, it could be a parent's uh, anniversary celebration, the thirtieth anniversary, fortieth anniversary. Celebrate and you want to invite your friends here. So for an informal invitation, you will write individually. Okay, we write in the formal letter. I we okay. Then of course here yeah, the content, everything is the same. The content would be yes, uh, the guest you are who I addressing to about the date, time, venue, and the location. Okay, and yes, informal letter would be an informal tone. And you have to stick to the word limit. We do not uh, get to or to informal or fine. Now you have you noted this down. Okay, you don't have to note it down. You have to remember these things here. So let's write an informal letter. Write an informal letter to your friend, inviting him or her. For the thirtieth anniversary celebration, wedding anniversary celebration of your parents. So give information regarding the date, time, and the venue. Any other thing you would like to pitch? You know, you want to give any theme or any color code or stuff like that. You are most welcome to mention that. Okay. Right 
Now, yes, so you are going to a letter to your friend and send you the format. So, your informal letter, you remember that? Yes, who is the sender? Address right now. Write the date and the salutation. Then, talk about the content and yes, your clues. Clues would be as your friend, your cousin, yeah, your nephew, your niece, anything what is the relation, your person who you are writing the letter to. Okay, right? Now, here, if you are writing this letter to your friend, so you can write down here your sanitation, that is, So, uh, dear, it, it could be Anu. Okay. Right. Uh, so, it's a pleasure for me to. You can ask, of course, uh, yes. So, hello. I hope uh, you are all fine. And it's a pleasure to, after your brief introduction, let's do that also. Right. Then you can slide down. It's. Uh, a great pleasure for me to invite you on the occasion of yes, this would be able to write down of this is this right here. So anniversary celebrations on at right. So yes, you can just make the right. So please be there. So you can say bless or you can say make the occasion memorable. Anything looking forward for a favorable response, everything you know how informal letters are written. Then, of course, your complimentary clothes, your friend. Yes, so it will be. Yep. So, what have we discussed today? Once again, a reminder to you all yes, we discussed formal invitations, running, accepting the invitation. Informal invitation, right? So we have uh, done a rather declining invitation. We have done accepting the invitation. We will be doing, right? So it is similar to that. So here I have whatever I done over here. This is an informal invitation. How we write an informal invitation in the form of an informal letter. You will address your friend, yes, you can ask, you will open with a casual statement, you can say asking about them, and then you come directly to the purpose of writing your invitation. Give the reason, give the date, time, venue, yes, end up with the hope of them being present, looking forward to your present, hope will come and make this occasion memorable, right, your friend, that's it. Clear? Is that clear? Any doubts? Anyone? Any problem, any issues? No one has any issues at all. No problem at all, ma'am. And uh, yes, you know, 